Hi, I'm Michelle O'Connor, Creative Director for JCPenney Salon, and I can't wait to share with you this great look from Albert Luis at Farouk. Hello, and welcome to my salon and spa. Today, Daniela and I will be sharing with you a really cool technique that takes straight hair into curls, and then those curls into an amazing style that's easily translatable into bridal, special occasion, and even holiday hair. So why don't we get started? When doing holiday hair, it's always a good idea to start off with a really good blow dryer using a volumizing technique such as the round brushes and Velcro rollers. If you use Velcro rollers, make sure to use tension to ensure that volume stays at the base. If you don't have Velcro rollers, just pin them the way you blow dry them in barrel curls. When you're unwinding these curls, always make sure to unwind the same way you wound. This keeps the hair from tangling or getting fuzzies. Finger brush to soften up that set, followed by a brushing technique using your paddle brush. After the hair is completely smoothed over, we're going to take the first frontal flat and then take a diagonal back section to just right behind the ear to separate the back from the front. Beginning at the top, work with really small subsections and using the BioSoap finishing spray and your small curling iron, it's always a good idea to add volume at the scalp first before you curl anything. After you've got that volume, ribbon wrap that hair from base to ends in nice smooth sections and making sure that when you repeat this all the way back down the head that each section is exactly like the very first one. Volume at the base and ribbon wrapping to the ends. Each section looks the same from top all the way to the bottom. When we move to the front we're going to take a diagonal back section and work again the same wrapping technique. This time however I'm keeping the ends away from the face. This is a really good hint. If you know which direction the hair is going to be styled at, curl it that way. It's going to make your finishing a whole lot easier. When I work with the top sections, I'm going to move on to a slightly larger curling iron. This is going to keep softness above the eyes. That's another good pointer. Keep softness above the eyes. It'll make the look always amazing. When I'm ready to take down these curls, I'm going to start unclipping from the bottom up. This is going to make sure that you don't miss out softening any of these curls. Go one by one breaking them apart all the way to the top. Once that is done, take that very top section, gently pull it back and bob pin it into place. Then you're going to pull some of those sections apart, giving that top section more texture. Then take a soft horizontal section from the sides, gently twist it, walk it over to the opposite side, and then pinch, pull that twist. I call it ruching. It's a fabric term. It's going to make this finished look appear more youthful and textured. Pin it, move over to the opposite side, same thing, a horizontal section, gently twisting. Walk it over to the opposite side, ruching again, making sure that this looks nice and even, but yet lived in. And you're going to work back and forth, left and right, all the way down to the nape. After you've passed the nape area, you're going to take a section from one side, continue that twisting technique, the ruching technique, but this time you're going to wrap that hair underneath the remaining hair and you're going to secure this on the same side that you initially took that twist from. You're going to continue this technique a couple of times and you're going to go as low as you want to go, making sure that you show off some of that curl in the finished style. On your final twist, make sure and secure this at the very back and then start pulling apart to make sure that this style is lived in and fun. When you move on to the top, it's all about softening up that frontal fringe and then just laying those ends right over the first twist to hide them. And here you have it, guys. Daniela could be a bride, a prom date, or holiday ready. 